Hi folks, Bob Warfield here from CNC Cookbook with another installment of our G Wizard University. Today we're going to go over the conversational CNC OD Taper Wizard for lathes in our G Wizard Editor software. First, what is conversational CNC and why would you use it? The idea behind conversational CNC is to make it quick and easy to produce G code for simple tasks quicker and easier than having to do a CAD drawing and run your CAM software. Instead, you just answer a few questions in the conversational wizard and it'll generate the G-code for you right away. Conversational CNC makes it super fast and easy to do simple parts just like you would when you're manual machining. Although with CNC and a conversational wizard it's even faster and there's more powerful things you can do than you could probably do with manual machining very easily. Conversational CNC is not designed to replace CAM software for more complicated parts you're going to want the CAM. But for anything simple it's hard to see why you'd take the time to fire up your CAD CAM when you could just do it with conversational CNC. So let's take a look at this stuff. <clears throat> you bring up the conversational CNC wizards by just clicking the wizards button and you'll see a graphical menu of all the different wizards that are available here. Um, you can select either the graphical icon for the wizard or uh, the tabs across the top. In this case we want to go to the OD taper wizard okay, for cutting tapers on an outer diameter. Now you can define any taper you'd like. You give it the uh, uh, end of the taper and the start of the taper, the diameter uh, and the degree angle. Uh, you have the ability to reverse that angle. But we also have a big database of standard tapers available that you can bring up uh, and choose from to save you some trouble uh, if you don't happen to have that information at your fingertips. So let's say we wanted to make a, an R8 taper. We'll just go down and select that and click OK and now we've got all the right information to do an R, R8 taper uh, that starts at zero uh, goes back to minus 0 0.9375 inch and a quarter diameter 8425 degrees. That's our R8 taper ready to go. Um, just that easy. So uh, we do have a warning message here. Rapid X must be greater than X diameter. We don't want to go rapiding uh, to zero. So let's go ahead and uh, change these values up here. Uh, let's say we want to wrap it to 1.4 and uh, for Z we'll wrap it to 0.1. I like to go to about a tenth of an inch away from where we're going to start cutting. Uh, we'll leave the roughing tool and the finish tool as they are. We'll leave the various depths of cut and the uh, feeds and speeds as they are. In a production job you'd want to set all of this stuff up. Uh, but I, w I just want to go through and show you re really quickly how this works. Um, so uh, that's all there is to it. You click insert uh, generates the code for you. Here you can see what the taper looks like. We're going to uh, cut a couple of roughing passes and then there's the finish pass uh, here much closer. All the g-code is documented with comments so it's easy to understand. All the parameters you used are uh, captured right here at the uh, top. Um, you've got uh, your roughing passes, your finish pass and so on. Uh, this is, uh, this error is just due to the fact that we didn't choose any feeds and speeds. It's just telling us that the uh, spindle's not spinning. Uh, but that's really all there is to uh, doing an OD taper. Really quick and easy with this thing. Uh, so we uh, hope you'll give the OD taper wizard a try sometime. And thank you very much for listening. <laughs>